Hey y'all, it's your girl Q, and welcome to another installment of Sweet Dreams. All right, so tonight we're gonna do something really beautiful, really delicious, really special. We're making a brookie, but I don't call them brookies. I like to call them crownies, cause you know, you know, you already know. <laughs> So let's go. All right, we're gonna make two separate batters. First, we're gonna make the brownie batter and we're using a Hershey's dark chocolate cocoa powder and we're mixing that with that beautiful Land of Lakes butter, okay? When I tell you it has such a distinct creamy flavor, it's so beautiful. So what we're gonna do now is, is we're gonna mix those two together Stir those up nicely. And then we're gonna place that inside of the bowl. Cause with the brownie batter, you don't use as much flour. You know what I mean? It's it's really delicious, y'all. I'm talking about these. Whew, let's get it. <laughs> Cause who's to say you can't have both at the same time? Why you can't have brownies and cookies? I love it. So now we're gonna add in some vanilla. Yes, God, honey. Love those beautiful flavors. And we're gonna add in some regular sugar. And then we're gonna add in some dark brown sugar. We're also gonna add in some salt. Yes. And we're gonna add in one egg at a time. Y'all know how I am. I don't like to just dump stuff in there. You know what I'm saying? You gotta make sure that it's really good and incorporated. And here's a tip for your brownies. If you like a nice shiny brownie, you gotta make sure that that sugar and that butter and everything is really worked in together. Um, so you're gonna want to make sure that you beat that, beat this mixture <laughs> really well. Um, and make sure that everything is just incorporated all the way through before you add in your flour. So that's what I'm doing. Look at the flick of that wrist. <laughs> Getting it, ain't not a, yes we are, period. So giving those good stirs, now look at how beautiful that is. And that's before we even add the flour, child. But we're gonna add in a cup of flour and this, I believe I added it all in at once, I think. Yeah, because it wasn't that much flour. So I just added it all in at once, um, which will be like the few times that y'all have seen me do it like that because it wasn't a lot. So I just went on ahead and added it in. And this will be the last ingredient for these beautiful fudgy, crisp around the edges. Oh my God, chewy, just delicious fudge brownies. Yes, and y'all know this is the decompression and relaxation station. So let's breathe in and breathe out. Breathe all the way in and breathe out. One last time, breathe in and breathe all the way out. Beautiful. Okay, now we are ready to make our cookie part of this beautiful dessert. So now y'all see some of that Land O'Lakes butter very softened, some dark brown sugar, some regular sugar. We're gonna throw in some vanilla. And we have some baking powder, baking soda, and salt. And so now we're gonna cream all this together before we add in our eggs. And because the butter is extremely soft the way it needs to be, you can definitely do this with a whisk. See how it's just coming together beautifully. Plus the extra moisture from the vanilla kind of helps to bring everything together. And now we're gonna add in that egg and we're gonna go ahead and cream that together as well. And while we're whisking, let's take a little bit more time to do some more breath work. Let's breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in deeply and release. That is nice. All right, 
So now with this, we have gone on ahead and we've added in some of our flour. Now right here, I didn't just dump all of it in at once because you, like I said, you don't wanna do that. You just wanna make sure that everything gets incorporated the best way that it possibly can. And now we're here with the second go round, putting the flour in and just stirring them together, making a beautiful cookie dough. You know, and I also have other cookie videos as well. I have a video where I made three different types of cookies using one dough, and I love that cookie dough. That's my one of my special recipes for making cookies. So y'all go ahead and check that out because it's bomb. <laughs> it's very delicious. Yes. Now we're adding in our chocolate chips because what's a chocolate chip cookie without the chocolate chip? Exactly. It's not a chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> if it doesn't have a chocolate in it, it ain't a chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> Period. Okay, let's go. And I love, like I said, making my little treats and things because I feel like you deserve to have that, you know? Every now and then, have something nice and sweet, you know? And that's why I do these. Like I said, these are, we're here to alleviate stress. This is an anti-stress, anti-drama. We are not with the fuck shit <laughs> over here. All right, so now what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna do a couple more cleansing breaths. Breathe in deeply. And breathe out. Oh yes, breathe in deeply again. And breathe out. I'm feeling way more relaxed. And now it's time to assemble our crownies before we put them into the oven. So we have the, um, that luscious, deep, brownie batter and we're going to put that inside of our pan and the pan was prepared with um grapeseed oil it's a grapeseed oil spray i love grapeseed oil has an extremely high smoke point and so it's perfect for cooking and baking without adding any extra flavor um that you know you don't want there and without scorching or burning it's very beautiful oil to use. I love it. So let's go ahead and put that all inside of the pan. And this is a thick batter. So we're gonna go ahead and use that spatula to make sure that we get every bit of that brownie in a nice and even layer um, in the bottom of that pan. Oh, this is going to bake up so beautifully, y'all. And y'all know how those corner pieces are with all the good chewiness and the crispness around the edges. Oh, chill. <laughs> this turned out so bomb. Y'all going to see what I'm talking about. Yes. And now we're going to start applying the cookie dough. And I just, you know, I mean, just kind of place the dough. You know, you don't have to... Like I said, be pretentious or uptight about it. It's just placing the dough where it needs to go, where you want it to go. I like to have it to where I can see both parts. I like to be able to see the brownie and the cookie coexist. I don't, um, I don't shape it or formulate it to where, you know, it's just you don't see both parts. Like I like for both parts to be seen. Yeah. I like for you guys to be able to, well, I like personally to be able to see the brownie peek through the cookie dough. You know what I'm saying? It's really fun and delicious. And then we're going to top this with whipped cream too, y'all. Oh my God. <laughs> this was a very delightful treat. Very delightful. Very delightful. And I just wanted to take some time right now to tell you guys that this is your reminder that you are enough you are beautiful being you your own authentic self you are amazing and kind 
and beautiful and everything in life that you go for that you feel you truly deserve you don't have to do anything out of um you don't have to do anything out of negativity to obtain it or get what you got coming for you you feel me because it's a part of your destiny and like i said this is um a decompression we are relieving stress we are letting the rest of the hubbub of the day to fall to the wayside and we are relaxing our minds now y'all saw that i took that aluminum foil and i covered that cake pan with the aluminum foil the reason why i'm doing that is so that the brownie portion can cook and the cookie portion can cook evenly without the top of the cookies over browning or over cooking right all right so let's look at it we're gonna take it on out and y'all know we like to cook and clean and cook <laughs> period so now y'all see this do you see how golden and delicious that this is oh very beautiful and this is right out of the oven so i'm going to cover this up and then um, the next time you see the cookie, it'll be the next day and it'll been and had time to completely cool and then I'll be able to enjoy it and you know, we're going to tear it up. We're going to tear it on that jazz. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> All right. And now it is the next day and it's time to cut us a piece. And yes, let's go <laughs> now it's time to cut a piece of this beautiful crowny bake and we're going to um go ahead and cut a corner piece because y'all know them corner pieces go hammy they go dumb dumb so we are going to definitely get us a delicious corner piece yep cut that on up and now it's time to pop out our beautiful corner piece and put it right on our plate. Yes. And you can see just like the depth of the cookie dough and how the brownie batter just hugs that cookie. You see how that just kind of happens, you know? And then there's still brownie batter all at the bottom cuffing the um cookie batter the cookie dough excuse me um and it's just it's amazing so now we're going to finish putting it together now we're going to place a beautiful dollop of um, whipped cream on top and this whipped cream was partially you know still frozen so it was kind of like an ice cream effect which was delicious and i got the extra thick kind which I really love. And so we're going to sprinkle this with my signature stars. Y'all know how I do. You know, it's a wonderful thing to have your own things that are um, just a part of who you are. You know what I mean? Things that you love to do that you know that you do. It's that authenticity. It's having your own style, your own swag. You know, it's a beautiful thing. And I really love it. And I appreciate the fact that, you know, we have our own minds. You know what I'm saying? I know I do. I know I have my own mind. And I love being able to think for myself. And the ideas and the creativity that comes and flows through me, sometimes it's just so effortlessly. Like, things just pop up in my mind. I'm like, oh, yeah, let's do that. You know what I'm saying? And it's a blessing to be able to have that ability, it's a blessing. It truly is. And um, now that we've put our stars on there, I went and grabbed a spoon and I'm ready to get into it, honey. I'm ready for it. It's time. And I want to put some of those stars and stuff on the top of it so y'all can get a good look at it up close. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. that first bite did you guys enjoy it you know i'd like to share with y'all <laughs> this is delicious ah uh, and now we're going to 
do some healing breathing um because like i said when i want when i want you guys to have sustainable joy and just relaxation and be able to um carry that throughout the rest of your day so when you get good sleep you get good rest it's you know one of those things that just charges you and it revives you for the next day you know what i'm saying y'all this crowny deserves a crown like it deserves all the things look at that i mean just beautiful and chewy crispy around the top edges you know what i'm saying look at that mouth got watery <laughs> mouth got extremely watery look at that oh just amazing and beautiful it's like having you know two desserts at one time which is delicious and lovely and like i said that whipped cream just hit it off oh my goodness but like i was saying i want you guys to have beautiful sustainable joy and happiness and one of the things that's really helped me personally to obtain that on my journey, on my life's journey, is being able to check in with myself and, you know, just see how I'm doing. You know, do a vibe check of myself, you know. Um, and so one of the things that gives me clarity to do that is just doing the breath work. And I know um, this is just tools that I give to y'all to help you, you know, when we're not you know when you're not watching my videos which i hope you guys are watching my videos or that you know what i'm saying but when you're you know going about your day or you know what i'm saying just think to take time to check in with yourself and say how am i feeling right now you know putting up like i said those healthy boundaries and loving on ourselves and romancing ourselves and showing ourselves tenderness and love and you know delighting in all that we are as individuals and then you know when you're able to do that for yourself you can do that on a grander scale and on a larger scale with other people do you get what I'm saying? Like the more love that you build within yourself, the more love that you can share. And that's real. And that doesn't come from, you know, like I said, the negativity or the, oh, well, let me try to be this type of way with this person or that type of way. That stuff, that doesn't get you. I mean, people will feed off of it for a while. But after a while, you know, you're going to have to come with something much better than that. Something sustainable. You get what I'm saying? And joy that comes from just being, um, you know, happy within yourself. You know what I mean? The self-love, that's that best love. And right now we're gonna usher in um, some relaxation and calming um, environment by doing some more deep breathing. So we're gonna breathe in through the nose deeply. And let it out, relax. Breathing in deeply. And release. Start to feel your muscles decompress. Start to feel your body just become so relaxed. Your eyelids become a little bit heavier and you start to really feel at peace within yourself. You are loved, you are amazing, you are kind, and you ain't taking nobody shit, period, do you hear me? We have come to the end of this video because y'all see that cookie gone, baby. I ain't trying to leave now, crumb, you understand? Much love from your girl Q. This was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Good night. Breathe in. And release.